Feature race at Happy Valley on Wednesday night as the January Cup comes up as race number four. Up to the third, though, here, which is a class four over the 1650, headed by Ever Laugh. Alexi Bedell rides for Manfred Sertman. Good third at Wolf of St. Paul's last time out. Fearless Fire has been in four more than three starts placed on his next tooth. Faithful Trench, another you know, horse uh, in form, a two time winner this season. He'll roll from barrier three. Fast pace. It's a course and distance winner. Three starts back uh, himself. Dionysus Collins, just the one win to his name. It was over the 1800 metres. Ha ha ha. It's a four time course and distance winner. Those were a while ago, mind you. Now, and happy itch about. I'm very close to a class drop here off mark of 41. Keith Young runs for barrier two. Douglas White, Dream Warriors, Lucky Puzzle, and Ha Ha Ha. Sir Mark are the horses that have been on the road to Chunk for back. A couple of the noted leaders in this race. Good to slow tempo with the map thinking that Faithful Trinity will get across. Happy Itchy Barn, Anonymous likes to roll forward. Dream Warriors, Lucky Puzzle next two. Best few, he went forward last time as well. He's back this week around Ever Love. Fast pace and fearless fire, three wide. Charity Wings, Dionysus Colin, and uh, Ha 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 does La La Last Ball. La La Last, there we go, Charity Wings. He goes nicely here and his track work. He's a well-rated horse now and look, he's going uh, comfortably in his work. He's a pretty fit horse. This will be a six run for the season and uh, he's under a good hold here as well. So peak fitness for him. Dream Warriors like him coming back to uh, Happy Valley. His last couple of runs have been at Shartan from a wide draw. He's stepping up in trip. He looks good and uh, his work's been good here leading into it as well. And uh, third up for him this season. And Anonima, didn't mind his work either. He's allowed to stretch out. He's not the biggest horse around Anonima, which sort of suits these horses coming to Happy Valley. He is on a rating of 42, though, and drawn a little bit wide, but nothing wrong with his work. OK, nearly 30 to 1 Anonima as well. Let's uh, start with uh, Fearless Fire here. It's a really tough uh, run and win when he won at the day meeting back in November. Placed on his next two starts, Mark, and uh, David Hayes goes to Jerry Chow at seven off his back. Just hoping they fly along early, Andrew. Certainly into that first turn with Anonima, Faithful, Trinity, maybe even Best View going forward, and he can slot across from barrier 12. Thought this was a really even race, Paul, and with that seven-pound claim for Jerry Chow, just banking on some luck, I think he can win. Yeah, he's just drawn a little bit wide, isn't he? He's pretty good horse. He's eighth up and he's had some pretty hard runs this season. All right, fast pace. We move on to now. He's a winner of three starts. Back Neil Callan seems to get on well with this horse and seems to be maturing as well, Paul. He's certainly had his, a few tricks up his uh, sleeve in his early days. Yeah, definitely. He used to play up a lot at the start. And look, from barrier number nine, he just will need a little bit of luck, uh, all fast pace. But he's been going really well this season. He won three starts ago here over the course and distance and backed up with a couple of nice runs. So, look, I, I've got him in the numbers. All the wins for uh, charity wings have all been over this distance to all four of them, so the distance suits him. All right, Faithful Trinity, Pace Angle here, Best View and Dionysus Colin engaged in this one, Mark? Yeah, this is Best View going forward and Faithful Trinity. He's had a really good season, Faithful Trinity, and Best View would troll it up really well leading into this race. Dionysus Colin is struggling. He just wanted to run around a bit there. Paul, you could see he needed to be straightened up, Faithful Trinity. Stopped his momentum. He wasn't going to win, but he's just got that ability to put himself in the right spot. He does, doesn't he? And look, I don't think best for you will go forward this time. It didn't really work last time. OK. Uh, fast pace, though. Paul is our favourite for this one. What are your thoughts? I really like uh, Dream Warriors. He's drawn wide at his last couple of starts over 1,400 metres. He comes up to his winning trip at 1,650. Christoph Sumion jumps aboard from barrier four. I think he can get a nice run. I, I think he's a good price, too. So I quite like him at this meeting. It's the seven Dream Warriors. Charity Wings, uh, he shouldn't be too far away as well. He's had two wins of higher ratings before. Uh, fast pace is consistent and best for you. I think they'll go back and uh, that seemed to work three starts ago. Seven, three, five and six. Fearless fire even from the outside barrier. Jerry takes that seven pound claim. Hopefully they're roaring into that first turn and he's slotting in one off the rail or at least has cover wider as the map suggested. Charity wings to run second. Faithful Trinity gets into the right spot and fast pace is never too far away. Really even race. Two, three, four, five. I've got Dream Warriors um, as well. We've all got the three and five in the numbers, though. Charity Wings and Fast Pace Engaged.